I therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called. With all lowliness and gentleness, with patience, accepting one another in love, eager to preserve the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called into the one hope that belongs to your call. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of us all, who is above all and through all land, in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore it is said, when he ascended on high, he led a host of captives, and he gave gifts to men. Now by saying he ascended, what does it mean? But that he had also first descended into the lower parts of the earth. He who descended is he who also ascended far above all the heavens, that he might fill all things. And his gifts were that some should be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers, for the equipping of the saints, for the work of ministry, for the building up of the body of Christ until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God to mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, so that we will no longer be little children tossed to and fro, and carried here and there with every wave and wind of doctrine by the cunning of men, by their craftiness in deceitful scheming, rather speaking the truth in love. We are to grow up in every way into Him who is the Head, into Christ, from Him the whole body, being joined and held together by every joint with which it is supplied. When each part is working properly, makes the body grow and it builds itself in love. This I now affirm and testify in the Lord that you must no longer live as the Gentiles do in the futility of their minds. They are darkened in their understanding, alienated from the life of God, because of the ignorance that is in them. Because of their hardness of heart, they have become callous and have given themselves to sensuality. Greedy to practice every kind of impurity. That is not the way you learned Christ. Assuming that you have heard him and were taught in him as the truth is in Jesus. Put off your old nature which belongs to your former manner of life. Then is corrupt through deceitful lusts and be renewed in the spirit of your minds. And put on the new nature, created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. Therefore, putting away falsehood, let everyone speak the truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Be angry, but do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger, and give no opportunity to the devil. Let the thief no longer steal, 
but rather let him labor, doing honest work with his own hands, so that he may be able to give to those in need. Let no evil talk come out of your mouths, but only speak what is good for edifying and fits the occasion that it may impart grace to those who hear. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God in whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you with all malice and be kind to one another tender-hearted forgiving one another just as God in Christ forgave you